Hi, we're back, and as we promised, we've got some real live kids joining us here to give us their opinions on the shows we're going to look at next. This is Colin, and this is Callie. Say hello, kids. Hello. Now, these are showbiz kids. We rounded them up over the school they have on the lot here. Now, what are you guys working on? We were supposed to be on Mr. Belvedere. Yeah, we were going to be in the big birthday party scene, but we got cut. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That showbiz, Kevin. <laughs> Ain't it the truth? Well, are you kids ready to watch some TV? Yeah! Great. We're going to look at three different kids' shows, but first, here's a show that started a trend in adults watching Saturday morning television. It's called Gigantic Herman's Playground. Yippee! I'm Gigantic Herman. Welcome to my playground. Ha <laughs> ha. Gee, I wonder what today's annoying repeated word is. Do you know basketball? -y? I don't know, Gigantic. Bounce me, bounce me. Ha <laughs> ha. Duh, basketball. -y. I'll bounce you later. I know. I'll ask Mr. Trashcan. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Mr. Trashcan, do you know what today's annoying repeated word is? Today's un un annoying repeated word is th th there. Boy, we ought to be able to say that one about a billion times. Does everyone know what to do whenever anyone says the annoying repeated word? Yell until we spit up blood. Let's try it. Oh, Mr. Big Black Dolphin. <laughs> do you know where my Ford is? It's right over there. <laughs> down, you guys. You don't want to spit up blood all over your Uncle Dan and Uncle Kevin, do you? I guess you kids like that show, huh? Right on! Well, I like it, too. Gigantic Herman rubs some people the wrong way, but even those people have to admit he's made a strong impression on Saturday morning TV. And it's a good impression, too. Well, I like it, too. It's fast-paced, and it doesn't try to teach kids anything except to have fun. Well, that and to yell until they spit up blood. The next bit of children's programming represents the deterioration in the quality of cartoons offered kids today. Having grown up on the high quality of Huckleberry Hound, Rocky and Bullwinkle and the Archies, I was shocked to see the kinds of things that pass for quality animation on today's cartoon shows. Beverly Hills Teenage Mutant Ninja Ponies represents the worst of it. Let's look. Come on, kids, let's swivel. Wow, Corey, this is a groovy Polynesian party. Yeah, that steel drum band was great. Yeah, I dig this beat. It got real warm in there, though. Yeah, it did. I'm glad we came outside. Hey, why don't we wander off into the dark alone? Gee, Corey, I don't know. Come on, Kim. OK. Oh, a bat's in my hair, a bat's in my hair. Hey, get away, get away. Thank you, Corey. You saved my hairdo. Bats are nocturnal, Kim. Thanks, Corey. That's good information. Come on, let's see what's down this dark hole. <laughs> you fell right into my trap, stupid Corey and Kim. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. Zoics. It's, it's the cheese, cheese grater, grater face. face. That's right. And now I will grate you both until you are nothing but shreds. <laughs> Not so alone. If, if only the Beverly Hills Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Ponies were here. <laughs> I'm not frightened of you and your filthy hooves. Oh, you watch out, greater head. Ninja attack. Go, wow. We close our special segment with a look at what is perhaps the most popular children's game show of all time. It's called Filthy Dirty, I Double Dare You. And it celebrates children's fascination with filth and America's fascination with quiz shows. Okay, Pigsty Gang with 75 and the Laundry Hampers with 100. It's anybody's game, so here's the next question. Listen carefully. Who's the President of the United States? Is it Scott Baio, George Bush, or John Bon Jovi? Uh, laundry Hampers. We dare. You dare. Okay, Pigsty Gang. You can either answer the question or you can double I dare them back. Remember, who's the President of the United States? Is it Scott Baio? George Bush or John Bon Jovi? We, we double, I dare them back. You do. Okay, well, evidently the question was a little tougher than I thought it was. 
Laundry hampers, you can either answer the question or you can take the filthy, grueling ordeal. What'll it be? Filthy, grueling ordeal. All right. Well, why don't you step down here with me? Now, you guys good at sewing? Okay, well, here, we're gonna ask you to thread a needle. This is the filthy, grueling ordeal, gang. Now, we're not gonna make this easy for you. We're gonna blindfold you. Make those real tight so nobody can see. Okay, they untight? Fantastic. Okay, now, Kelly, we're gonna ask you to step into this barrel of motor oil and soak that thread real good. Bobby, I'm gonna take this needle from you and put it right here into the cow manure. Ready? Go! Hey, kids, no running on the reviewing stage. Hey. Oh, I wish I could run, too. You know, I don't know what to make of these kids' shows, but kids know what they like, and these kids seem to like them. I remember my parents never understood my fascination with H.R. Puffin stuff.